What's up everybody, it's Sean here and due to popular demand, I'm here to give you guys a try on and review of my Kith and X-Men clothing pickups. So this collaboration celebrates the X-Men's 60th anniversary. And alongside the A6 Gel Light 3s, Kith also released a ton of apparel including a lot of t-shirts, sweaters, and some jackets as well. And while the hats, the jackets, the hoodies, all that stuff look really really nice, I honestly only really cared about the t-shirts for this collection, so that's all that I picked up. So the first one I'll show you guys is this Beast Vintage Washed Tee. So I'm a sucker for Kith box logo t-shirts and this one was no exception. So the t-shirt is 230 GSM, so I'd say it's a very decent medium weight t-shirt. Not too light, but it's not too heavy as well. And because this is a vintage tee, the cotton itself is distressed, giving it this very vintage and faded look to it. So on the front right here, you can see we have the Kith box logo, which is stylized to mimic the look and design of the Beast. And then on the back of the t-shirt, we have this image of Hank McCoy, aka the Beast. And I'm not 100% sure who drew this. It looks like something drawn by Jim Lee. And then attached to the armpit of the t-shirt, we have these typical tags that usually come with Kith products. So you can see this top layer is done in this translucent finish. And then underneath this, we have both Kith and Marvel co-branding. And then the last one is the actual specific product tag, which in this case is for the Vintage Beast t-shirt. And all the tags for the t-shirts were exactly identical, obviously other than the product code and the description of the t-shirt itself. So trying on the shirt, it fit me really, really well. I'd say that it fits slightly oversized, but that's how I like my t-shirts to fit. So to give you guys some reference, I stand 5 feet 11 inches tall, I'm about 183 pounds, and I usually wear a size large in most brands. So you can tell with this t-shirt, it gives me enough width so it's not really hugging my body, and it has a bit of a drop shouldered look to it. And I like to wear a long undershirt underneath, so that might make the t-shirt look a little bit shorter, but in reality, it actually runs perfectly. So if you're someone that likes more of that snug, slim fit, you probably can go down a size, but if you don't mind more of that relaxed look, then stick true to size and you should be okay. Next up we have the Cyclops box logo t-shirt, which is also done in this vintage finish. So the base t-shirt is exactly the same. This is worn out black color. And in the middle we have this box logo once again, which is stylized to represent Cyclops' optic blasts. And then on the back of the t-shirt, we have this large image of Scott Summers. I believe this was drawn by famous X-Men artist Dave Cockrum. May he rest in peace. But again, I'm not 100% sure, so clarify down below if I got that wrong. But again, the same thing for this shirt. As you can see, it fits exactly the same. Decent amount of room for me to feel relaxed and has a very worn in look and feel to it. So it feels very soft, not itchy whatsoever. And it just feels like a shirt that I've had in my closet for years and years now. So the next t-shirt I'm showing you guys is this one, which is the Iceman tee, which I have to say is probably the most creative t-shirt that Kith released in this collection. So the t-shirt is actually labeled as a vintage tee, but to me, it didn't really feel like the rest. It felt more like a classic white colored cotton t-shirt, but I thought that was totally fine. And then on the front, we have this image of Iceman, but they've altered the image to incorporate the Kith branding underneath him. So I thought that was a really unique spin on it. And then also on the back of the t-shirt, we also have the X-Men logo on the top. This is puff printed. And then underneath this, we have Kith branding as well. And then trying on the shirt, as you can see, it fits identical to the others. So sizing was the same. The feel of the shirt, it still feels really, really soft to the touch. I just didn't think it was as soft or as broken in as those previous ones that I just showed you. The next shirt I got was this one, which is called the Uncanny X-Men Vintage Nelson T. And I noticed the name of the t-shirt, it's actually called the Nelson t-shirt, which apparently is a different cut of t-shirt compared to the others. But I measured them side by side, and to me, if anything, this one was probably maybe a centimeter not as wide compared to the other vintage versions. But honestly, this could have been just manufacturing inconsistencies. So I don't know how the Nelson t-shirt is supposed to fit, but from the shirt that I got from Kith, it pretty much fits identical to the others. So I would just stick with that exact same size that you got for those other t-shirts. So for this shirt, it features this team graphic, and this artwork was drawn by Dave Cockrum. And Kith branding at the very bottom, which was really nice. And this was the shirt I believe that Ronnie was wearing during the Instagram Live that took place during Comic Con. And I thought it looked really good on him, better than it just did in product images. So that's why I want to scoop up this t-shirt as well. And on the back, there is no graphics whatsoever. So just a plain vintage faded black t-shirt, and that's all there is to it. And then last but not least, we have this t-shirt, which is the Wolverine Vintage shirt, done in this box logo style once again. So this one, just like the others, is done in this vintage wash, so it has this faded black appearance to it. And then on the very front chest, we have the stylized box logo, which is inspired by Wolverine and his three claws slashing across it. And then on the back of the t-shirt, 
You can see here we have this image of Wolverine in that classic yellow, blue, and black costume. And this is an image that I've seen used on other t-shirts before. And honestly, I feel like all of these images have been used by other brands on t-shirts. So the only real difference is you're really paying for that kith branding and the elevated materials. So as you can see, the fit of this Wolverine is identical to the rest. A nice relaxed fit. It feels very soft, very broken in, just like the rest of the t-shirts. So if there's anything I love, it's consistency. And I love when brands are consistent with their products. So if I know I'm a large in this t-shirt, it's great knowing that every shirt that I'm gonna buy is gonna be exactly the same. So that's the case for this release, which is why I was very happy with how these turned out in person. The materials, like I mentioned, is a nice mid-weight cotton, so it's not too thick, too heavy. You can still wear these in the summer, but it's also not super thin where you can see your undershirt underneath. And I thought the graphics were applied decently on the shirt. Nothing too special, but you can tell it's not gonna necessarily peel or crack after just a few washes. But given the super high price point of these shirts, I believe the Iceman and the Team T-shirt were 80 USD or 115 Canadian dollars. And then the box logo, because they had prints on both the front and the back, those ones were a bit more expensive, 85 US dollars, or 120 here in Canada. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this unboxing and try on video. Let me know in the comment section down below which of the t-shirts that I picked up was your favorite. And for anyone watching, did you pick up any of the apparel from this collection? And if you did, let me know down below what was your favorite piece. As always, if you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, follow my Twitter account at sean.go, and visit my website at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this review and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.